Sapochnikov, CEO of uh, DEEX. Hello, Vladislav. Hello. So, uh, could you tell me a little bit more about your project? Uh, our project is related to decentralized exchange upon BitShares blockchain. But actually, uh, the exchange itself is just the core of the whole system. It is a whole decentralized ecosystem which is very transparent and uh, based upon uh, the, uh, the fastest and uh, reliable blockchain of BitShares. On the first stage, we're going to use uh, BitShares blockchain and then we're going to build our own blockchain on Graphene technology. Uh, among the ecosystem, uh, the core is the decentralized exchange. Uh, then we will uh, implement and, and uh, distribute our decentralized transparent cryptocurrency fund, which uh, will be uh, also on the BitShares blockchain and which will be transparent, such that all uh, operations of tra traders will be transparent to investors. Uh, then uh, we will launch uh, ICO platform, such that uh, uh, we will uh, implement uh, so-called decentralized scroll uh, in which uh, shareholders, stakeholders of uh, ICO projects will decide uh, which, kind, uh, which kind and which amount of financing to provide to uh, ICO startup. Also, uh, our ecosystem will include uh, decentralized P2P uh, financial secure messenger on the blockchain which will include uh, transparent uh, anonymous and reliable secure financial transaction transaction such that uh, you can even uh, launch ICOs uh, via this messenger so that's very interesting you know that there is a growing hype tendency over the blockchain and lots of companies want to integrate uh, the blockchain system into their businesses so, uh, in your opinion, uh, do they realize these companies and your own? Um, do these companies realize uh, what does the blockchain mean, or is it just using the blockchain for the blockchain? Is it just a hype? Uh, I think absolutely not. I think 90% of startups uh, which claim they are blockchain startups, uh, they. Uh, they don't need blockchain at all and moreover they don't understand what it really is mm -hmm. because uh, they som sometimes uh, misunderstand uh, the difference between so-called ledger computing which is uh, a very well-known and uh, well-spread phenomenon within 20 years and blockchain itself because blockchain uh, means uh, decentralized system without any uh, a central authority and uh, which doesn't require any trust to uh, this authority and which doesn't require any trust to all or to any of the nodes because all, all the nodes are working uh, upon the economic consensus so they are interested not to, to cheat each other, each other upon uh, uh, due to the factors of game theoretic approach to economic theory uh, so I think 90% uh, of startups uh, will disappear because blockchain is useless there. I think blockchain is uh, useful only for its core meaning, which was uh, founded by Satoshi Nakamoto when he, he was creating Bitcoin. And this is uh, the problem of double spending of digital assets. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is because uh, actually Bitcoin arised uh, due to this factor, but not due to the others. We don't need uh, any so-called uh, crypto gooses on blockchain, crypto bananas, crypto potatoes, etc. Uh, we need uh, to solve the problem of double spending of digital assets in uh, P2P uh, economics. Th that is as simple as that. So I think uh, only infrastructural projects will survive, such as uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, and only the decentralized ones, because uh, centralized exchanges are, are cheating too much and uh, they're actually making a bubble, a bubble because so for, uh, for example, tether, tether USD currency. Also, ex smaller exchanges will survive. Uh, some P2P uh, lending uh, will be existent. Mining, for sure. And not only proof of work mining, because it is actually parasitic mining, but uh, mainly um, proof of stake mining. 
and uh, mainly delegated proof of stake mining upon uh, which actually BitShares blockchain and our cryptocurrency exchange is based on. Uh, actually, my master's dissertation uh, several years ago was dedicated to bubbles in dot coms industry, and um, uh, this situation uh, in the crypto bubble is very similar to that situation. So I, I love it, and I can analyze and predict to some extent. So, uh, talking about the blockchain startups, uh, where uh, does the do the blockchain startups? Uh, can search for investors and uh, for example you when d uh, where did you uh, search for them uh, actually we closed pre-sale uh, stage and we collected over uh, around two million dollars in ethereum and actually our investors were uh, the core audience of our product mm -hmm. so community rules blockchain you first of all you need to have a very strong community which will be interested in your token being utility token in your project such that uh, it will be internal currency in your project uh, we had such an audience because we had good, good business connections with crypto traders and one day uh, they have understood that uh, their cryptocurrency is not their cryptocurrency at all because it belongs to centralized exchanges and um, it is uh, under risks of fraud of such exchanges it's under risks of uh, hacking attacks uh, government uh, regulation etc and so those traders understood that they need to be become shareholders of a reliable decentralized exchange uh, which they can trust so uh, our, our pre-sale was actually community-driven. Thank you very much. Thank you.